Hi everyone, Andrew here. Uh, welcome back to another RTG video tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the. Uh, we're going to start talking about transform pivots, right? So uh, if you've if you've worked with the Unity editor before, which I assume you you have, uh, when you're working with the gizmos, you know you can switch between different pivot types. Yeah, you have center. Let me just select an object, and I'm going to switch to the move gizmo. I, you have the center pivot, which means that the gizmo will be positioned at the center of the object. Now, if there are multiple objects selected, the gizmo will sit at the center of the entire object collection, right? However, uh, when, if, you, if you switch to pivot, uh, the gizmo will be placed at the position of the, the object's mesh pivot. Yeah? So um, the mesh pivot is the um, is defined in the 3D modeling package when the when the 3D artist um, you know uh, models uh, creates the creates the 3D model, uh, and it's it's really useful sometimes because some objects um, um, you know can be more it can be better tra transformed using the, the actual mesh pivot uh, than, um, than than the center. Uh, for example, uh, you might want to rotate objects around their mesh pivot because it just it looks better and it it actually feels more intuitive. And a good example of this, although I don't have a, a 3D model uh, right now, is a door object. If you have like a door object, uh, the pivot might actually be defined somewhere to the left or the right of the door, right? And when you rotate the door, it will rotate the door around that, that point, which means that if the door is sitting next to a wall corner or something like that, uh, it will, you know, it will rotate and open as it, as it does in, you know, in, in real life. Uh, all right. So and and when you uh, when you have the pivot active and you and you select multiple objects, you notice that the gizmo will always move uh, on the last object that was selected. Yeah, uh, this is we've actually talked about this in the previous video when we talked about the target pivot object. Yeah, uh, in that case, the target pivot object was used to you know inherit the rotation. It, it, it was used in conjunction with the local transform space. We were telling the gizmo what is the object that we want uh, the gizmo to inherit the rotation from. In this case, uh, when we're dealing with uh, transform pivots, uh, the the target pivot object has an additional role in that it you know it defines the like the, the object where the, the where the gizmo will sit. Yeah. So when we click on an object, the gizmo will always sit on the last selected object. And we're gonna do the same thing in our uh, in our uh, um, project now. Um, so Unity in the Unity editor, you have access to two types of pivots. RTG uses actually five pivots, uh, but in the video, in this video, we're going to talk about these two, the ones that we also have access in the Unity editor. Uh, there is a difference in terminology. RTG uses object group center to refer to the center pivot, and mesh pivot to refer to the pivot pivot. Right? Okay. So let's uh, let's just switch to uh, our script here. So what I want to do uh, in this in this video is just be able to switch between uh, mesh and center, mesh pivot and uh, group center by pressing the P key. Yeah, and uh, the first step is to just create a uh, set transform pivot function, yeah, which basically calls the set transform pivot function of each of the uh, of the gizmos, right? Uh, so it's pretty much it's pretty much the same thing as with the set transform space but in this case we're just calling set transform pivot instead and you can see the transform pivot is actually of type gizmo object transform pivot uh, if I press F12 uh, we can see this is an enum defined in the RTG namespace and it has like five values now uh, we're gonna in, in this video we're gonna talk we're gonna talk about these two and then we're gonna leave uh, the others for uh, separate videos. I don't know if I'm going to cover all three of them in a single video or I'm just going to use separate videos. I don't know, but uh, in this video, we're going to talk about uh, the first two. Uh, all right, so I've already written the code here um, and I'm just going to uncomment this. So uh, I'm checking if the P key is pressed. If the P key is pressed, um, we take the current pivot. Yeah, uh, The current pivot is it can, be, it can be retrieved by just uh, retrieving the transfer pivot of one of the gizmos. Yeah, because all gizmos use the same transfer pivot. We make sure of that here in this function. Then we can just use one of the gizmos to get access to the current pivot. And then we just switch between the two of them. Right? So if the current pivot is object group center, we switch to object mesh pivot. If it's object mesh pivot, we switch to object group center. Yeah. So um, now let's just see how this works. Uh, by default, 
uh, it's set to uh, group center. Yeah. So when I uh, click on an object, it's gonna set the position of the gizmo to the center of the object. And if I append objects to the selection, you can see the gizmo will sit at the center of the objects, so the center of the selected objects. Now I'm gonna press the I'm gonna press the P key, and you notice that as soon as I do that, the gizmo will change its position to the object's mesh pivot. And if I hold down Ctrl and append objects to the selection, you can see that the gizmo will move its position to the last selected object. Yeah. And if I press L to switch to the local transfer space, its rotation will be adjusted. It will be synchronized with the object rotation. Yeah. Right. And if I click to uh, hold down control key and click on this object to actually deselect it the gizmo will move back to this object instead yeah so um, and yeah that, that's how the uh, object group center and object mesh uh, pivot uh, op uh, object mesh pivots actually work um, now in the next video uh, we're going to talk about uh, the custom world pivot or custom object local pivot the idea is that we're going to try and uh, I'm going to I'm going to try and show you a few scenarios like uh, an example of, of, of where you might want to use these pivots instead uh, all right and then finally we're going to talk about the object center pivot which is uh, admittedly a little bit weird and it's not probably something that you will uh, need most of the time uh, but we're still gonna we're still gonna cover it. All right, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I wish you a nice day. Bye bye.